You want to say hi to your friends? Hello! Hello, friends! Where do we go from? Where do we go from here? Well, in the last video, we told you we were fed into a ferry at 3 a.m. in the morning, and we are not joking. We made it to the ferry pier well in time. Turns out our 3 a.m. ferry has been moved to 6 a.m., meaning that we don't have to be here till about 5.30. So instead of getting up at 2.30, we could have slept till 5. Yo, what's up? Hey, hey! Yo, my friend, where are you from? We're from Oregon. Yeah. Oregon? Yeah. Where is that? In the uh, United States. Oh, nice, nice, wonderful. Well, it's been a couple hours. It's starting to get light. Still no boat. <laughs> or maybe it's a ship. We'll see. It's very fast. The beds. Table. But actually has the TV. And a bathroom. That looks like it has a shower slash toilet. Wait, did the shower come out of the toilet? Oh, no, we don't have one of those. This trip has been very pleasant. Uh, being able for 14 hours to have your own cabin and a bathroom, it has really made this very enjoyable. And it's a very comfortable cabin. Yeah, this is just the most enjoyable way to travel. So, <laughs> so delightful. We're, get, we're just getting ready to pull into Heraklion. Um, it's just nightfall is almost here, so uh, imagine we're just going to get off to our hotel and we will most likely catch up with you tomorrow. Yeah. Okay, before we turn in, I have to show you this apartment. This is a huge bathroom. We have a little uh, Keurig or cup. Krups. Nespresso. Nespresso. It's not Nespresso, it is Krups. Ghetto. <laughs> oh, that's very firm. It's actually very comfortable. And the rest of the room. Oh, that is a pillow top. Oh, that's going to be nice. This is a cute little apartment. It's got everything you need. And the space is very well used. And it was less than 50 bucks a night. All right, let's go get dinner. Surprise, we're leaving Heraklion already. No, we haven't really showed any video of it yet. We were just kind of chilling out for the last couple days. We are about ready to hop a bus to go to the hippie paradise of Matala uh, from Joni Mitchell's old song, uh, Carrie. But uh, we will be back to Heraklion in a few days and then we'll make sure to go out and do some filming because what a cool city, huh? It's amazing, the streets and the food and the people. It's a lot of fun. You could definitely spend a week here and with a blink of an eye. Yeah, really nice place. So uh, we will show that to you later. But right now, we got a bus to catch. Welcome to Matala. Matala is a little town nestled in a natural harbor along the south central coast of the island of Crete. And it has been inhabited since the Neolithic period. Hey! <laughs> Throughout its history, it's been an important port, a fishing village, a hippie hangout. And now a tourist spot. I really like it. It has a very homey feeling. 
every around every corner there are so many different um, paintings, murals, murals. That's the word. <laughs> it's. I am so glad we came here. It's very comforting. In Roman times, this was an important port, and these caves were hollowed out by people of the Neolithic period. And it only cost a couple years, so we will be going there later. The sun's going down as I try to make my way through the crowd. Feeling alive, I love being by your side, it makes me shine. We got one summer, so let's make it count. You make me feel like everything's alright. Let's dance our problems away in the night. Love being right next to you. I'm happy and I approve this message. Local artisans are on display throughout the entire town. Well, if you're a Joni Mitchell fan, and yes, I'm talking to you, Mom. Right here is where the old Mermaid Cafe used to be from Joni Mitchell's song Carrie back in the 70s, I believe she made that. Joni Mitchell lived here in the caves in 1969, and on her album Blue, she mentioned Matala in her song Carrie because she was hooking up with somebody here named Carrie back in the day. <laughs> This has a great beach area. The water is beautiful and there's actually sand. You can also use the showers and the changing rooms. And there's uh, umbrellas and beach chairs. Uh, I don't see anybody around. You might just be able to sit in them. And cute little changing rooms. And speaking of Joni Mitchell, the tickets are four euros a piece. And historians are in debate whether these were tombs during the Roman period or homes during the Neolithic period. Of course, I haven't read anything about the other possibility that they were both. They could have been homes during the Neolithic period when people were smaller, and then the Romans said, hey, they're a little too small for homes, but we could use them for tombs. We may never know. This is so cool. And the hippies made their homes here during the 1960s and 70s until the church and the military ran them out and made this a historical site. This is a place where, as a kid, oh, I would spend all day here making forts and having all these fantasy. It would have been so much fun. But how about now, since you're an adult? Now, I don't what have you, the what? fantasies, but I love to walk around and explore. What do you think explore. about it right now? These flowers are native to Crete and endangered. This place is definitely worth a visit. There's an annual hippie festival, I think they call it, every June. But whether you come for a weekend or for a week, this is definitely a place worth spending a little bit of time. I absolutely agree. I love the vibe. Um, the people are nice. This is the first place in a while that the other travelers are friendly. 
That's so true. We've been finding it's been rather weird in the last month. We're not sure entirely if it's just a post-COVID thing, which is probably a large part of it, but um, we're used to travelers kind of banding together all over the world, and it's been very strange as we went through Europe. So many other travelers and backpackers would, like say hi to in whatever language, and they like don't respond, or you smile at somebody and they just walk on by without responding. So um, here it's been, the vibe's been different. And so as we head on back towards Oh, we don't know where we're going. <laughs> so as you head on, we're hoping that, uh, that that's changing. Because the great part about traveling is all the people you meet. That's definitely a big part of it, so. Ready for a nap? Well, uh, first I want a seven up. Seven up and a nap, sounds like a plan. <laughs> we may see you more from Matala, we may not. Only time will tell. Finally, the vlog has come back to Heraklion. <laughs> the island of Crete was civilized as early as 3500 BC by the Minoans. That civilization fell, I think it was, what, 1500 BC? And they still don't understand a lot about them, but there are relics and stuff to this day. So, 5,500 years old? That's pretty freaking cool. Uh, these big arches, they actually, uh, the fishermen would put their boats in there and this is where they'd work on them. And they're still here to this day. Actually, I think it was more like the tradesmen and the military but the boats went in there. Throughout history, there's been a lot of earthquakes here. So most of the town is in ruins. taken all the driftwood and made things out of them. <laughs> this beautiful boardwalk along the sea goes on for miles. It's Sunday, but there are so many shops and eateries and great places around here, just start walking. That would be my recommendation. This is a large church in Crete. It was uh, built in the 19th century. Uh, normally you can go inside, but it looks like on Sundays it's closed. It's supposed to have this amazing dome with beautiful mural on it. was built in 1628 and it used to be connected to 14 kilometers of aqueducts that brought water from uh, Mount J-U-K-T-A-S into the city. That's pretty impressive. That is beautiful. It's not on but this is from 1550 and it's the Venetian coat of arms. The fountain? Yes. <laughs> that is our ride to Athens right behind me there. Well, our boat leaves at 9, but they just told us that we can start boarding at 6, and because we have a cabin, that's what we're going to do. Spent the last couple hours at Starbucks getting some editing done and sipping a little bit of coffee. Now we're going to head out and grab some dinner and head to the ship. Okay. I know we're in Greece, but I can't resist a pizza.
Well, we made it on our ferry boat. This is bigger than the suite on the cruise ship. We have our own sitting room. And look at this bedroom. It's huge. Oh, that's comfortable. It feels like it's a uh, memory foam. But check out this bathroom. Shower. We upgraded to the Lux and it put a shower and a, I believe a sitting room into yours. So it wasn't like a little bunk room like our last one. Now to explore the ship. This is actually just like a cruise ship. And this is even bigger than some of the cruise ships we've been on. Well, we're not going to starve. Well, I have to say, this is a really nice ship. Totally agree. Everything's really luxurious in that I would never have noticed that this was a ferry. We're in Creed's and we're going to a restaurant called Cooking with Love. This place smells amazing. We haven't even eaten yet. I already love it. Oh my goodness. This is the original Greek renders. Only boy, eh? Wow. <laughs> this is the chef and she's awesome. No, 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 no. I'm just a cooker, me and Marina. We are cooking every day together. No chefs. You and Marina, okay, they're just cooks. We but it smells food. lovely. Thank you so much. Enjoy your meal, oh, take you. your time. And paristo. Wow. Wow. Okay, I'm trying. Uh, she had a name for it, and I'm going to call it Noodle Masanta. Mm. It has a bechamel sauce on it with, um, a, with the ragu, and the uh, cheese is caramelized on top. With the ragu? Right, right. And then that, the meat sauce. Oh. And then, um, but instead of... Uh, Potatoes and eggplant. Yeah. They have a noodle. Nice. That's really good. good. This is their famous homemade um, meatballs. Mmm. It melts in your mouth. And now for the chicken roll. There's a uh, bacon in the middle. Oh. The chicken is cooked so long that it just melts in your mouth. Wow, that half a meatball was Kate's. She 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 didn't finish that. I can't help myself. I pointed at too many things because everything looks so good, and it really was. <laughs> they are amazing. They're so kind and so sweet, and they love what they're doing. And they, we first we said, "Hey, you're chefs," and he she goes, "No, no, no, we just cook." She said, no Michelin stars here, just good food. Keep drinking this coffee. Click <laughs> the thumbs up and subscribe. No, no, that was good. That was good. That was good. <laughs>